The clock is ticking for Caspa. Smart money is buying heavy at this zone. 15 cents around this zone, 15 cents, where actually the 15 cents area has become the new jitter zone. Uh, and I say the new because the old uh, jitter zone was the 10 cents where smart money was buying heavy and dump money actually was exiting from Caspa at the local bottom. Now, the new local bottom uh, that Caspa has is 15 cents, impacing people now rotating, going to projects that performing by neglecting completely the parameter of their rotation of all of these projects that perform to bring cash into Caspa. They neglect those things, but we know how the cycle moves and how the cycle rolls. Now people are focusing to buy Cardano, Stellar, uh, Solana, XRP, projects like that because they feel confident, oh, this Pambo, Cardano is better than Caspa. I was an idiot that I was holding Caspa, should have bought uh, Cardano and stuff like that. But you're going to see once Caspa will blow up, the, pe the same people who sold Caspa to buy Cardano at the top will sell Cardano at the top and buy Caspa at the top. So these people won't make money at the end of the day because they're going to mo move with these switches all over the time, and they're gonna end up even with less money than they have started with. So we know where we have put our money. For everyone who has done his research, knows what's coming in the upcoming months. The catalyst of news are insane. For me, is the best risk reward ratio for the bull run. And for the people with big mouths and no experience, or otherwise, AKA big mouth and small mind, <laughs> Um, I have to tell you that now we are in a bull run phase and once a project breaks out and pumps incredibly, all the damn money are buying at the top. So the next top of Caspa that most people will buy, it's going to be 30 to 50 cents area. This is where the people are going to start flipping other coins to buy Caspa. And I believe the ultimate rotation is going to happen at $1 because we have got a reasonable hype for Caspa. What I mean, like, I mean that we can hype Caspa because we have reasons to hype it. It's the best project since inception of Bitcoin. It's the only proof of work project that solved the true lemma. And not only proof of work project, like it's solving the true lemma like no one else. It has speed, scalability, security, decentralization like no one else. Most projects are lacking either from a security standpoint or either from a decentralization. Most projects are not even secure, not even so fast and also are centralized. It's all about to make money the VCs. That's all about marketing and the marketing is coming from the VCs, paid marketing everywhere just to make money, the VCs and dump the retails. Casp is for the people, same fundamentals as Bitcoin. You see now that the big entities, large um, institutions are coming into Caspa and these institutions, because they realize what's going to happen, they have to pump the bags of the retail investors as it happened with Bitcoin. You know, it's not the opposite as it's happening with a proof of stake project that it's not very lanced. Okay, it's exactly the opposite. Institutions have got almost the majority of the supply and actually they pay another guy or yeah, the media, whatever, to speak for that project and retails go and buy and pump the bags of the VCs. Casper is not like that. It's a project like Bitcoin, as we say, the Bitcoin 2.0. And of course, it's better technology than Bitcoin thanks to BlockDAG and thanks to Jonathan Sobolinski that, that he was able to sit down and uh, after 10 years of hard research to end up with this mind-blowing, again, groundbreaking technology, BlockDAG. Anyway, now I would like guys to show you some very, very bullish news around Caspa. First of all, it happened an Australian conference for crypto and 
You see here on uh, the side of Caspa, uh, there are two Binance guys that are observing <laughs> these Binance dudes <laughs> uh, want to learn more around Caspa. And here is the news, guys, where you see here we have the testnet number 11. And this testnet actually release uh, will include all the optimizations and improvements the Caspa dev team has been working on thus far, allowing them to determine the minimum recommended uh, node spec for the 10 blocks per second in mainnet. So this is going to happen uh, December 1st. Uh, this is actually the estimate target uh, to happen December 1st. So you see Crescendo is moving smoothly. Probably we will have it at Q1 2025. I uh, hope to happen as fast as possible because, of course, this will determine also how high Casper will go. With 10 blocks per second, it's a game over. Uh, in general, <laughs> like no competition, Casper will destroy any single competition out there going to have 10 blocks per second on Rust instead of one. So Casper will start scaling in a broader audience and even more faster. Like Casper will destroy any kind of competition. And by the same time, we will have our security and our decentralization thanks to the innovative technology. And now, guys, let's go into the technical side. But as you see, Bitcoin is on this discovery zone, but unfortunately, uh, we weren't able to touch and see on screen the six figures of Bitcoin, $100,000. Uh, we got a rejection <laughs> around the $99,900 area. Uh, we got a rejection and you see here the last couple of days, we had took a little bit a uh, cool off from this insane bullish buying pressure and now bitcoin is back to $95,000. Here we don't know if bitcoin will continue lower like back to $90,000 or we're going to have a reversal here back to 100k. We don't know that, but it's healthy to have some pullback back to even $90,000 or even back to $85,000. From the institution side, you're going to notice that Friday, the last day of the week, from the institutions, BlackRock continued the accumulation with 500 million inflow, and we had some outflows here. And in general, the inflow of the day from the US institution was 490 million total inflow. But you notice here, guys, that BlackRock, how aggressively is buying. That's huge. You see, in reality, BlackRock only buys and if they're going to continue with that way, they're going to end up by owning above 1 million BTC. I believe this is their target. And I believe according to how diamond hands they are, they will be there. Now let's go to see on Caspa what's going on. As I told you, we have a very stable position at 15 cents. And you see here basically on this chart that we had before a couple uh weeks that we have discussed the 14.5 cents area and the 200 daily moving average and also this previous downtrend resistance that now we have got it as a support and look where we have stacked on we have stacked on within the 14.5 cents area where i believe is the bottom okay the bottom is in around there so i believe caspa can hold this zone it seems this zone has big bank pressure so this is why i told you that the old 10 cents area where the smart money was buying has become now the 15 cents area where the smart money is buying and the dumb money is exiting um and also you see that we always bounce from the 14.5 cents area we also find here a rejection on the 200 daily moving average you see how many days in a row? It's uh, crazy. We have got a rejection in the 200 daily moving average. And also we come back into this uh, support of this downtrend previous resistance that now it's a support. And we go with the flow, uh, yeah, slowly down or we move a little bit up and down inside of this uh, kind of box. Anyway, 
Uh, I don't know how close we are to the breakout. It can happen like this week. It can happen next week. But I highly believe it will happen before the end of this year. I believe this year will end up with Caspa above 30 cents. The breakout is about to be wild. And guys, now all we need to, uh, to pay attention is this 200 daily moving average resistance and also the 17.5 cents area resistance that we got our previous rejection. And once we're gonna break these two resistances and we're gonna go straight uh, into an 88 and we're gonna break the 88, we're gonna be in a discovery zone where guys, you will see huge FOMO and especially if we're gonna have the Binance listings plus more high tier one exchanges, we are about to moonshot really, really aggressively because now, as I told you in the beginning, we are in a boron phase and in the boron phase, the money that are flowing into a project are a lot because some people have profits from other projects. They see suddenly a project is waking up and they rotate and the blow up can be insane. So. I'm trying to be conservative. I'm trying to tell you that the next breakout is about to be from 30 cents to 50 cents, but don't be freaked out if all of this catalyst of things to happen together to have even bigger uh, explosion. So I'm just preparing you to be ready to don't miss the train because once Caspa gonna break out, you're gonna forget Caspa forever below 20 cents. So I'm just preparing you, I'm just warning you. If you want to follow, follow. If you don't want to follow, go buy the performing coins. There are plenty out there. You're going to have lots of choices to pick a project. So um, this is what I would like to tell you guys. Uh, the time of Casper will come eventually and it's going to be brutal. So guys, for the people now who are going to ask me, Chris, where do you store your Casper? I use guys a Tazem wallet because this is the only way to sleep safe at night self-custody because you have the ownership of your coins offline and not online if you hold your caspa in an exchange it's like you hold your caspa in the bank someone else will manage your caspa and if you hold your caspa in hot wallets guys you hold your caspa online and this is vulnerable uh, way to be hacked so self-custody i choose tazem because i believe it's the best to store your Caspa and if you go through my link uh, it's going to put you on this page on this second page you're going to have to choose the card set I recommend you three card set not two card set uh, safety is your priority here in the promo code section write crypto Chris Chris with Y not with I and with that way you're going to grab 10% off discount in the payment method choose the payment method of your preference click order and sleep safe at night and for the people who maybe are going to ask me, Chris, from where do you buy Caspa? Guys, recently I buy from xt.com because it doesn't require KYC. It has pretty fast withdrawals, faster than Mexi because I used to buy from Mexi, but now Mexi has delay on the withdrawals and also uh, requires KYC now. So I, I switch into xt.com. I haven't found any flaw. Of course, we don't marry an exchange, it's only to purchase our coins immediately we withdraw these coins into our cold wallet and also xd.com has pretty cheap uh, fees so why not if you go through my link sign up deposit and all of that stuff guys you're gonna have discount fees forever so highly recommend you go through my link to save up some money so Thank you guys so much for your support. Appreciate you for every like and every comment. I will see you all in the next video. Until the next video, Chris out. Bye.